YouTube, what's going on? Hope you all are doing well. Uh, now that we're approaching the 2022 F1 season, I thought it'd be only appropriate to make a tier list. Uh, my predictions for this upcoming season. What do I think, is, or who do I think is going to win and how, how they're going to place? Um, and the, the, the tier list goes the, the, the world champion, uh, of course, here at the top, and then the second place, and then you got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I, I believe that's right. So we're, we're going to be placing all these guys, and we only have two, uh, two new drivers, I guess, I guess you could call it. Uh, I believe Juan Yujo and Alexander Albon. Um, so it, it's going to be interesting season. Um, I think you're definitely going to have a lot of fight for the title with uh, George Russell's in the Mercedes, and uh, I think um, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to start it off here and make a absolutely wild prediction that. Um, George Russell's going to win the World Championship. I think it's going to be close, but, uh, you know, I want to see my man George get up there. I, I don't know if it's going to be totally correct. In fact, I prob probably am going to be wrong, but if this is his year, this is his year. Um, second place, that although the title says nobody remembers just because you don't remember who came in second place, uh, Checo is going to do, be doing really well. And then I think you have 3-4 right there. So you have Williams, well, Mercedes, sorry, and Red Bull putting up a good fight there. And I think that's uh, where they're going to go. Um, to finish off the, the tough competitors, so this will be 5-6 uh, um, here. I'm going to put two, two younger drivers, uh, you, you, you could call it. I think Lando Norris is going to put up a very good fight, and so is Pierre Gasly. I think they're both going to be mid runners and uh, be doing very, uh, very great things this year, and um, I think that's that's going to be a competitive mix for F1. We're going to be seeing a lot of uh, competition between these two drivers, and then also uh, the next pair, which I want to say is Danny Ricardo and Carlos. Sorry, sorry, Charles Leclerc. Carlos Sainz is going to be right next to his teammate I think they're going to be very close indeed um, but I really just don't see uh, them coming anywhere close to these guys uh, potential so I think Nene Ricardo and Charles Leclerc will be uh, competing very closely with these guys right here I think the whole midfield um, from about right here to the bottom of the midfield is going to be tough competitors and we're going to see some pretty good racing out of those guys so I, I think um, it's gonna be gonna be a good season. Um, to to put put uh, the cap on that, I think I'm I'm gonna um, finish that off right here. I, I think that's that's uh, solid. It's gonna be solid, and um, I I like that. I like that. Um, yeah. So actually, uh, let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna go like that. Because I, I actually think the two Fred Addies will be very closely indeed with these guys, and they, they're gonna be, they're gonna be above the midfield, right? So you're gonna have these guys. I, I would say was it seven, eight, nine, essentially. Um, I think e either that, but I think they're gonna be, still be very close in the pack and very competitive in the um, bottom of the midfield. I think uh, Yuki Tsunoda is going to be bottom of the field, midfield. And I think, uh, essentially, the uh, Valtteri Baltas is going to be at, around there. Around there. You have the rookies. Uh, this is just people who, and, and then you drove in F1, people who who, who were forgotten. And uh, I'm sorry to do it to you. But um, Nikita Mazepin, I don't know if this year is going to be your year either in F1. You, yeah, I, I could be proved uh, very wrong. I uh, could be proved very wrong, but that, that that's my uh, thought. I think um, Valtteri 
Baltes is going to just be a little bit ahead of his teammate just because of his experience. And we've seen that Alfa Romeo is not a car to be uh, taken lightly. They've done some so- solid, uh, solid things um, in, in the past. And I think that that should only continue with uh, the drivers of this year. But uh, to place these last three drivers, I think Mick is going to be uh, just a little bit ahead. Um, and Alex Albon is just going to be at the back of the field. I, I really do. I think Alex um, is not going to come close to the potential that uh, George Russell had in that Williams. Um, no fault of his own there. Um, I think that's just kind of the, the driver that he is, uh, more passive and tr- just trying to get things done. So I think it's going to be interesting to see where this season leads us, to see where the 2022 cars uh, take us. But uh, that's that's essentially my predictions. I think it's going to be a tight, tight race. Well, it is every year, but I think with Mercedes not at the top, I think it's it's going to be very, very close. So I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see w- with all these races. You have Miami coming very soon. Um, I believe that track is getting finished. You have Albert Park being changed. So these new tracks um, are going to really influence everything. So I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you, do you agree, disagree? Um, uh, who, who do you think is going to win the world championship this year? Uh, wild prediction for me. I think George Russell uh, might have the opportunity to do that if Red Bull doesn't make it too difficult for him. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. But if you guys enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Consider subscribing, y'all. It's free. And uh, until next time, peace.